Welcome back to WKYT. We're just over a week away from the Derby. There can be a lot to take in for any newcomers to that Kentucky tradition. Luckily, today's guest can help you plan for everything you will need before a trip to Churchill Downs. Joining me this morning is Stephanie Bell, owner of Fancy Derby Hats. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me this morning. Somebody considers going to the Derby for the first time. What kind of tips would you give them? Well, you know, I've been doing these webinars for mm -hmm. for first time derby goers and they they want to know they want to know a little bit about the the derby and what the history is and things like that and you know, you may not realize but the derby is the longest running sporting event in the nation, which uh, you know, it, you, you may not know that. Yeah, it's and a lot so, of history. Yeah. So it um, you know, it started in 1875 and there's there's only been two derbies that have been canceled over the years. One was for World War II, mm -hmm. and the other one was for COVID. So people are so ready to get out and have fun, wear big hats, and they're just they're just very excited. A big part of that, the hats, you see people's outfits. Tell me about some of the things you brought today. Well, you know, feathers are always in, mm -hmm. sparkles. You know, um, in past years, fascinators have been really the, the go-to, but this year we are seeing a big increase in hats. People want to go big. big they, They're excited. Yeah. They want to go to the Derby and wear a big hat. But so. you talk about fascinators. There are options if you don't want to wear, uh, you know, a giant hat that you kind of got to watch right. out for. So there are different things you can do. It, it's less of a commitment for a fascinator. Um, you know, yes. And, and what is that process like when people come in to try to pick a hat to pair it up with their, their outfit? Well, I recommend you, fi you find your hat first. Mm -hmm. It's a lot harder to find a, a great hat than it is a, a dress. And so, you know, I work with people, they'll, they'll bring that, you know, they want certain colors of hat. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, you know, if uh, people are always going to be fancier or wackier at the Derby, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you wear, just wear what you want to wear. Uh, but a black dress is always a great uh, canvas for mm -hmm. a spectacular hat. So, you know, I recommend just, just number one is, is comfort. Uh, it is a very, very long day and wearing comfortable shoes. That's the thing, no matter how big you may think you're going when you go to the Derby, I guarantee you, you will see somebody who's going bigger. And I, I always see those costumes and I, or the outfits and I think, well, how comfortable can that be? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. And you know, there is a reason why outside of the track, those, those vendors sell flip-flops that you yeah. buy at the Rite Aid for $2 and you're paying $30 there. Because of that. But yes. then you, you've got lots of beautiful options like that. All right, if people want more information, they can go to Fancy Derby hats at gmail.com. They can email yes. you or go to your website. Right, and they're also uh, at Bella Rose and over in Frankfurt at uh, Brendan Reed. So, yeah, go get your a hat and get ready for a fun derby. All right, thank you for coming in to talk to us. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right.